Okay, let's continue here. Um, so, 499. If we anti differentiate, we'll get uh, x power minus 2 over minus 2 plus c. Uh, I guess I should use the lowercase. But we need f1 to be 1. So f1 equals 1 minus 2 over minus 2 plus c, and that should equal 1. So that means c equals uh, 3 over 2. So the answer is fx equals um, minus 1 over 2x squared plus 3 over 2. 500, f of x would equal... Uh, x power 3 over 2 times 2 over 3 plus x cubed over 3 plus c and f0 has to equal 2 so that means c has to equal 2 so fx is 2 thirds x power 3 over 2 plus x cubed over 3 plus uh, 501, fx, uh, anti-differentiating cos becomes um, mm sine. Oh, sec becomes tan plus c. And uh, we have f pi over 4. That will be uh, sine pi over 4, which is 1 over root 2 plus tan pi over 4, that's 1, uh, plus c. Uh, that should equal 2 plus root 2 over 2. So that cancels that, and I'll get c is equal to 1. So fx equals sine x plus tan x plus 1. Okay, 502 fx will equal x power 4 over 4 minus 8x cubed over 3 plus 8x squared plus x plus c but f of 0 needs to be 0 so c has to be 0 and then 503 ugh, fx equals uh, increase the power by 1 divide by the new power so that's minus 2 over x minus x cubed over 6 uh, plus c. But here, f1 has to be 0. So that means minus 2 over 1 minus 1 over 6 plus c has to equal uh, 0. So that means c is 2 plus 1 over 6, which is 13 over 6. So we get the answer of minus 2 over x minus x cubed over 6 plus 13 over 6. Let's check the answers. Four ninety-nine. Correct. Five hundred and one. Correct. Five hundred and three. Minus 1 over 6, that's a 6. x cubed, yeah. Minus 2 over x, yeah. Plus 13 over 6. Yeah. Looks good. Okay. Good, good, good. Um... Interesting. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the next few, but maybe we can have a look at them. Okay. Um, for the following exercise, find two possible functions given the second or third derivatives. Hmm. How do they want the answer, though?
just put any old value of C in, I guess. All right, whatever. Uh, so 504, anti-differentiate once. And I'll get x cubed over 3 plus 2x plus a constant. Anti-differentiate again. And I'll get x power 4 over 12 plus x squared plus ax plus b. So I guess two possible answers could be x power 4 over 12 plus x squared plus x. Or it could be x power 4 over 12 plus x squared plus 1. They will have a second derivative of x squared plus 2. Kind of a weird question. Uh, 505. If you anti-differentiate this twice, you'll end up with, uh, well, once would be minus e minus x, and then again would be e minus x. So you could have e minus x as one possibility, or e minus x plus 1, I guess. Really? Is that all we have to say here? Yeah? Okay. Really weird question. 506, uh, 1 would become x plus x squared over 2. So that would be x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6. Or the same again, but I don't know, just put a plus 1 at the end. It's a really dumb question. 507, that would be minus cos x. Because minus cos x becomes sine x becomes then cos x. Or, guess what I'm going to do? Put a plus 1 at the end. Uh, 500. Oh, hang on. Is that three derivatives? I oh, have to be careful now. Not two derivatives. So, cos becomes sine. Sine becomes minus cos. And minus cos becomes minus sine. So, I'm going to say minus sine x or minus sine x plus 1. And then 508. Oh, okay, let's write it down. The second derivative will become 8e minus 2x over minus 2 plus cos x. And then the first derivative would be 8e minus 2x over 4 plus sine x. So the answer could be uh, dividing by minus 2, minus e minus 2x minus cos x, or guess what I'm going to do, minus e minus 2x minus cos x plus 1. Ain't I a stinker? Um, e minus x is one possible answer, so is e minus x plus 1. And then 507 uh, minus sine x, yes, or minus sine x plus 1. I really don't get why it insists on finding two possible functions. Uh, I find that really bizarre question. All right, well, there you go. Uh, there you go. Um, okay, and then we have uh, some uh, word-based problems, which we shall do in the next set of questions we do. Okay, so that's up to 508 done.